to show you how to use simple intercompany processing in Dynamics 365 Business Central. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to personalize the purchase invoice and add a few fields there. And then we'll go through a purchase invoice transaction in a parent company. And then we'll switch over to the subsidiary company and process it from there. So let's get started. I'll go to the purchase invoice. And what I want to do is personalize the line area here on the purchase invoice. So let's select that. We'll go up to settings and then personalize. Make sure I have this highlighted here. I'll add a field. And the three fields I want to add are these three right here. So I'll add them one at a time. So I added these three fields right after the direct unit cost. I'm done. Let's go back into the purchase invoice. I'm in my parent company here. And I'm paying an invoice to this vendor. And part of the invoice is for my parent company. And the remaining part is for the subsidiary company. First, I'll add the line for the parent company. Account number 61,000. The total for the parent company is $2,000. So this is a normal line I would add in the purchase invoice. But now I want to add a line for the subsidiary company. It's going to be a GL account. I'll put this number in here. The amount will be $1,500 for the subsidiary account. And now I want to add the intercompany information. This is going to be a GL account item. And the look up here is on my intercompany chart of accounts. And the number is 61,000. And the company to which this is going to be charged is this company right here. So I'll select that. So let's go ahead and post this. So I've completed the processing on the parent company. Let's go over to the subsidiary company and continue. In my subsidiary company, I can see that I have one transaction that's in the pending inbox transactions area. So I'll click on that. And I can see the detail on this by going to outbox transaction. Look at the details. So this looks okay to me. So I'm going to go to the functions. I'm going to accept this transaction. The transaction has been accepted, but it still needs to be posted. So I'll go to the intercompany general journal to do that. Here's a transaction right here. So all I need to do is review this if I want, or I can go ahead and post it, which I'll do. And I'm done. So processing the simple intercompany transaction in Dynamics 365 Business Central required me to personalize the purchase invoice form. I added three fields related to intercompany processing. Then I demonstrated the process by entering a purchase invoice in the parent company, switched over to the subsidiary company, looked at the pending inbox transactions, accepted those, and then went into the intercompany general journal and posted those transactions.